What's the story behind the new Priscilla Tempest mystery series? Let's find out. But before we do, if you love books and the stories behind them, please subscribe to my channel. Interviews are posted the second and fourth week of every month on Tuesdays. Hi, my name is Crystal Fletcher and welcome to All About Canadian Books. I am so excited. My guests today are Prudence Emery and Ron Bass. They're the authors of Death at the Savoy, a Priscilla Tempest Mystery. It was published by Douglas and McIntyre and you have to listen. Here's what it's about. Picture this. It's 1968. London is in full swing and the Savoy Hotel is at the height of its legendary glitz and glamour, welcoming the rich, famous and aristocratic into its rarefied world of perfection. Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton are squabbling in the American bar while Noel Coward drinks champagne. Royals wait upstairs in luxurious suites for discreet encounters. In short, all is as it should be at the Savoy. If only it weren't for the dead body in room 705. Suspicion falls upon Priscilla Tempest, the quick-witted Canadian head of the Savoy press office, who has a penchant for champagne and the wrong sort of men and trouble. So, to find out how Priscilla gets herself out of this pickle, you have to read the book, which I highly recommend. I never guessed who did it and loved it, loved it, love it. Welcome to All About Canadian Books, Ron and Prudence. Well, we're, we're doubly delighted to be here because you enjoyed the book so much, Crystal. So. <laughs> yeah, I really did. Uh, now, Prudence, I, I mean, it's set at the Savoy. Um, it's a press uh, secretary, you know, Priscilla. Anything, any of this based on you? <laughs> Gosh, I was wondering that myself. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be loosely based, although Priscilla does things I, I wouldn't have done and I did things that she wouldn't have done at the Savoy. So. I think uh, Ron can but you, but you, Prudence, you, uh, what inspired me, Crystal, uh, mm -hmm. to, to give, uh, Prudence and I had been friends for uh, many years ago, and we covered many movies together. She was a publicist for, uh, uh, what, over 120 movies. Yeah. Um, uh, she and I had many adventures. Uh, she dragged me off to Israel. She dragged me off to a snowbank in Parkerville, British Columbia, in Montreal. We drank... Uh, Champagne was the legendary playwright, uh, John Osborne. Uh, we uh, uh, wrestled with Oliver Reed. We, we had uh, incredible times together. She got me to, she got Anne Margaret to kiss me. So uh, I, I, I have loved Prue ever since for that. But we hadn't seen each other for years. And I read her memoir and I knew she'd worked at the Savoy. Yeah. Um, but I had no idea the life she and, and we would talk about, you know, you know how you, you sort of know each other and you know their mm -hmm. backgrounds, but you're not talking a lot about this stuff. And uh, when I re read her book, first of all, I thought I was the most important part of, of Prudence's life. And when <laughs> I read uh, uh, Nanaimo Girl, I realized I was an infinitesimal part of Prudence's <laughs> life. I barely got a mention. <laughs> so. Uh, but what struck me was the, the absolute glamorous life that 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 uh, uh, Prue led at the Savoy. I mean, tell them about the waiter button, uh, so, uh, Prudence. I had in my office. I had a, a little silver oval button that had waiter, maid, valet, and because I had so many journals dropping in trying to cage free drinks, we always pushed the waiter button. The other two buttons got never pushed at all. <laughs> But, but if Prudence could push that button, uh, uh, champagne would arrive, uh, food would arrive. So all sorts of celebrities thus arrived. I mean, that's how you met Noel Coward, right? I met Noel Coward. I met Noel Coward because a journalist from 
Canada came over to do a story on Bernadette Devlin and she was six. So I said, why don't you do something on me at the Savoy, being very forward. And, and then I, I said, would you like to meet Noel Coward? And his eyes bugged out like this. I said, are you kidding? And so we went up to Noel Coward's suite and he was completely charming. And he got his story. Got but you, but how, you, how you met him, it was a big, he needed a pen, right? Oh. oh, okay, that story. He was wandering by the Savoy press office. He had to sign, what, what did, I can't remember what he had to sign. What was he signing, registration? He was signing one of his plays, was he not? What? He was signing one of, the, 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 one of his plays. Oh, okay. Why do you remember the story better than I do? Because I think you may have <laughs> Anyway, but you became good friends. But, but Prudence became great friends with, with, with Noel Coward. Uh, you know, a, a lot of these names, again, uh, depending on, 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 on what, what your age is, may or may not mean a lot to, uh, to, to viewers. But uh, uh, Noel Coward, you, you uh, dined with uh, uh, John Houston. Uh, Louis Armstrong uh, would wander into the, the press office. I mean, Prudence just had this uh, totally glamorous life. And, and, and I, I was, I, I just read, read this with, with uh, in constant amazement that uh, uh, at, at what went on at the Savoy. And reading through it, I thought to myself, this would make a, a, a great mystery series. So I got on the phone with Prue and we sort of rekindled a, 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 our old friendship. And the next thing you know, uh, we had decided to collaborate together on, on writing what became Death at the Savoy. Um, so, but Prudence is, uh, uh, was always my bellwether for uh, uh, the Priscilla character. Yes. And, uh, she, she, she brought a lot to that character, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> and what, I, what I'm always interested in when there's a collaboration such as what you have done, did you were you sitting down writing together? Did you write pieces separately and come together? What was your process? Because it, I mean, it's it's seamless when you read the book. It doesn't sound like two different voices. Well, we um, uh, Prudence was our 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 uh, technical advisor and and uh, uh, expert on all things Savoy, yeah. and if she couldn't answer a question or we had a problem. She had friends who had worked at the Savoy uh, during that period. So uh, uh, we got a lot of information. Prudence uh, came up with the uh, uh, initial plot structure. Uh, we, uh, uh, to show you what kind of uh, collaboration it was, uh, Prudence came up with the name Priscilla and I came up with the name Tempest. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, so I would write, because I'd written a fair number of these books in the past, uh, uh, when it came to the sort of Colonel Mustard in the library with the candlestick stuff, uh, I would write that and then I'd send it off to Prue and, and let her uh, uh, take a look at it. And, and she would uh, come back with uh, uh, what she thought uh, uh, and where things could go, should go and who should do what to whom. So it, it was, and, I didn't know quite what we were getting into, but uh, you, you know, Crystal, more than anything else, it turned out to be a lot of fun. And two old friends who hadn't seen either each other for years, uh, just got together. Uh, we, we talked on the phone constantly. Uh, and once in a while, we'd even talk about the book. But we talked <laughs> about all our old adventures together. And, uh, 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 just had a lot of fun writing the book. So uh, uh, to our absolute, at least to my absolute surprise, somebody actually wanted to publish it. So, uh, and not only publish this one, but, but the next one as well. So. Oh, and I'm so, I'm so glad that there's another one. But you know, you know, Ron, listening to you and Prudence speak about how fun it was to write, that really translated into your novel because it was so, fun to read like I, I felt like I should be drinking champagne while I was reading it. <laughs> if you need an excuse to drink champagne read Death yeah. of the Savoy. <laughs> <laughs> it 
we might we might add but might add that the both the film rights and the audio rights have been sold before the book hit the shelves in the bookstores. Yay! Congratulations. Well, again, that's that's our friend Prudence here, uh, who sent the, the book to uh, uh, Eduardo Ponti, who is uh, Prudence's or is Sophia Loren's son, hoping oh. that Sophia would uh, give us a blurb for the book. But uh, uh, Eduardo, uh, Eduardo's wife Sasha Alexander, who is a producer, the, the two of them are producers. She read the book, loved it, and has now optioned the book. So although we never got the blurb from Sophia Lauren, we got an option for a, a movie or a TV series. Well, and you know what? It's perfect for that. It, it really is. <laughs> so who, who would you picture playing Priscilla? Prudence? I like the girl with the red hair in that film, the name of which I can't remember, it played, who was a chess champion. What's her oh, name? um, yeah, she. I oh gosh, I can't remember her What's name either. Um, but uh, she's beautiful. Just want the expressive uh, face, and okay. Yeah, she's been talked about too. Uh, a, a more interesting. Uh, uh, I, I don't really see it, but they've talked about Julia Garner, who is in uh, Ozark and who's inventing Anna. Uh, oh, okay. Her. Well. We'll see, um, uh, but uh, uh, strangely enough, when I, you know, because people, uh, when I've written other novels and I've written these Sanibel Sunset detective novels, they, they always say, well, who do you see in the part? You know, yeah. if you make it into a movie or a TV series, who do you see? And with this, uh, uh, again, uh, uh, to show you how much influence she had, uh, she's had on the whole thing, I always saw Prudence as uh, 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 if, if I needed a, a, a model in my mind for it, I didn't see an actress at all. I saw our remarkable Prudence. And uh, there's a picture of her on the cover of Nanaimo Girl uh, sitting, uh, but, uh, you're on the roof of the Savoy? Right, overlooking the Thames. Yeah, uh, and this delightful young woman in, in a, uh, I a mini skirt. Do you want to see a copy? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Keep talking. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, and I, to me, that was the model for for Priscilla. And uh, when my wife first uh, uh, read the first draft of the book, she had to correct the number of times I wrote Prudence instead of Priscilla. Oh, <laughs> uh. oh that's funny. Oh. My working copy. Can you can you see it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's, so that so uh, she was my role model. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Oh, well, Prudence Emery and Ron Bass, I have absolutely adored speaking with you today. I so appreciate you being guests on All About Canadian Books. And to our viewers, I can't say enough what a fantastic book this is. And you really have to try out this new mystery series thank you thank you thank you well, thank, thank, thank you. you crystal it was, it was a great fun and uh you, you you made it a real pleasure so thank you appreciate thank it you. you saw my line i was going to say the same thing oh. <laughs> <laughs> i'm well, sorry i've got to learn not to steal prudence's <laughs> line as we promote the book <laughs> Well, I suspect that you'll be doing a lot more of these together and the fun will continue. <laughs> Interviews, I mean, yeah. You got us off to a great start, Crystal. So thank you so much. Oh, it was fun. It was fun. Thank you. Bye.